everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma, these are my allotment diaries, and welcome to my kitchen. So today's video I'm very excited about. Um, I wasn't gonna film a full video on this, but I think you guys are gonna like it. So but in this video, I'm gonna be answering one of my most requested questions, which is, how on earth do you cook your Jack B Littles? What can you do with them? Can you eat them? Well, firstly, I can answer that question straight away, yes. You can eat them, they are completely edible, as are the baby boos. My baby boos didn't get very big this year, they were really teeny tiny, so I'm not going to cook them, but my Jack B Littles were enormous, thanks to the wetter summer. So I'm gonna show you two ways that you can cook your Jack B Little pumpkins in this video. One's gonna be savory and one is going to be sweet. So if you're interested in finding out how to eat these delicious pumpkins, keep watching. Firstly, I just want to clarify that I am not a professional chef, I'm not much of a cook, I'm just a home cook. I enjoy cooking and I enjoy trying to make interesting recipes for my family to eat, but I'm definitely not like an expert. Um, a lot of the recipe ideas that I get are actually from other vloggers on YouTube or from magazines. And that brings me into talking about Readly. So you've heard me talk about Readly a few times. Readly is a magazine subscription service you subscribe and then you get access to thousands and thousands of different magazines, loads of different categories, there's tons of inspiration there. Now the good thing about this time of year in particular is that a lot of the gardening magazines actually have recipes within their magazines as well of what you can do with all the produce that you've grown over the year, which is absolutely fantastic. But I do like looking at the cooking magazines as well and with Readly of course you get access to absolutely hundreds of them, honestly, there is so much variety on there. One of the features of the Readly app that I think is just amazing is the fact that you can bookmark certain articles. So when you've gone through a whole magazine with different recipes and you found the ones that you like, you can just bookmark those articles and it saves it for you and then you don't have to go searching and searching for hours looking for that recipe again. It's all there, all saved in a little list. And I have a really exciting link below where you can get two months Readly for free. And of course you can cancel at any time. Do go and check Readly out if you're interested at all. I've gone on about it for over a year now. Um, I love it for inspiration. There's so much variety. There's the bookmarking. You can use it offline, online, inline. <laughs> and without further ado, let's get into cooking our Jack B. Littles. I'm going to start by showing you one of my my favourite savoury recipes with the Jack B. Little. I'm going to select quite a big pumpkin because we want to stuff him basically. Now there are two ways that you can cook this Jack B. Little. You can do it in the oven, which will take between 12 and 15 minutes, or you can do what I'm going to do and pop him in the microwave. It's a little bit of a cheat and it doesn't taste, it's kind of like a baked potato. You know how you can do it in the microwave or you can do it in the oven? Well, it's the same with the Jack B. Little, so it might taste better if you roast it, but if you're short on time, stick it in the microwave, it's the same thing. Right, welcome to my dirty kitchen. <laughs> We're gonna prick him, it's the same way that you would do it with a potato. And I think it is pretty much to stop him exploding, which we really, really don't want in the middle for about three and a half minutes. Please don't explode. So while that is cooking in the microwave and hopefully not exploding, I'm gonna chop up some mushrooms and some bacon. So I've just got some normal mushrooms here and then some smoked bacon. Now you don't have to use bacon if you don't want to, um, but I really like to. A lot of people also like to use walnuts in it, but I'm not a massive nut fan. Not a massive nut fan, so I'm gonna stay clear of the nuts, but the walnuts in it are supposed to be really good, as is like things like kale, sprouts, anything like that, but I'm gonna stick with mushrooms and bacon for this recipe. Chop up the mushrooms. I think I'm gonna just sort of chop them sporadically and randomly. Keep everyone guessing, you know? Keep it exciting. Okay, so now that my mushrooms and bacon are chopped up, we're going to fry them and cook them in a pan. Okay, 
Okay, so I've just cooked in the microwave some basmati rice. You can use any rice. A lot of people use wild rice, um, but I'm not massively keen on it. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of this just to add it, add a little bit more into the pumpkin basically, make it a bit more filling. That's the whole thing. Let's mix that in. hot he's a little bit hot but he's nice and squidgy now which is what we want hopefully you can see this sorry guys my lighting is not very good in here um we're going to chop his head off same way that you would if you were like carving a pumpkin it's actually so much easier to get the head off when he's cooked all right out he comes and we'll just chop that bit off there just careful just to get the seeds and we'll put them in a bowl and then what we can do is we can roast those seeds later on. Now what we do is we get our mixture from the hob. In that one, I think. And we spoon them in. There it is. Stuffed to the brim. Okay, next thing to do is... Okay, now we're going to get some cheese. Just to let you know guys, I don't normally have this much like pre-packaged stuff, but I thought for the purpose of the video, it would be easier to kind of have like pre-packaged stuff because I get really like scatty and stuff and I'd forget steps and everything. <laughs> so I brought pre-packaged stuff to make this video a bit easier. Right, okay, we're going to stuff him with mozzarella cheese on the top. Actually, I'm going to press it in a bit more on my favorite mozzarella okay now right now that he's adequately chopped up um, and just like I said you can kind of like tailor this to whatever you like so you can um, chop up some kale and put it in there you could do some Brussels sprouts you could do cranberries uh, walnuts would be really nice in it too um, but you just stuff him with stuff like that and now what we're gonna do is grill him so it's gonna go into a grill um, a hot grill and um, just for five ten minutes until the cheese is melted so like I said, all of the seeds in here you can set aside and you can roast them. They're really delicious um, over some salad or just over like your porridge in the morning. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to keep those and roast them later. You could also roast them to put over this, but I'm actually so hungry. I'm actually making this for my lunch, so I'm absolutely starving. So I'm very excited to eat it because it smells delicious. Right, it's time to come out. Never quite sure where to put you because my kitchen is so messy and I am very aware of that. So I'm trying to sort of like shelter you from it. I'm trying to protect you from my absolute chaotic kitchen. Right, oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Oh, oh my God, stop. It smells so good. Look how incredible this looks. Oh, it's really hot, but all of the cheese on the top has melted. It's gone nice and brown. Oh, it's gonna be absolutely delicious. I've come into the back room because the lighting's a bit better, but how incredible does this look? So the top is actually purely for decoration. <laughs> you can't actually eat that, I'm afraid. I've just got some rocket on the side. How gorgeous does that look? That is gonna be stringy, it's gonna be meaty, it's gonna be mushroomy ricey and pumpkin-y. I mean, what, what more do you want from a meal? <laughs> it's got everything. I'm losing my mind a little bit because I've taken loads of pictures and I just want to dive in and eat it. Oh my God, it looks insane. So we get the string. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, it's so good. So what you have to do is when you scoop stuff up, you kind of scrape the sides of the pumpkin and then you actually get some of the pumpkin on your fork as well. There you go. It's so good. So we've done the savoury, now on to the sweet. I know what you're thinking, how much pumpkin can one person eat in one day? <laughs> we are about to find out guys, we're gonna push it to its limit. I'm gonna eat my second pumpkin of the day. <laughs> so I've selected a slightly smaller Jack B. Little out of my little pile of them because, you know, too much pumpkin. <laughs> And I'm going to show you a slightly different way of cooking this and we're going to make a sweet pumpkin recipe and let's just go, let's do it. <laughs> so this time, which is very different from last time, we are going to start by cutting him open and scooping out his insides. It would help if I had a sharp point on this knife, but I don't. <laughs> 
Okay, so it's the same thing. We've opened him up, but this time we haven't pre-cooked him. And we're going to scoop the seeds out into a bowl. Can you believe it? It's actually a sunny day. And this is how dark my kitchen is. This is why I don't do cooking shows. God, I love the smell of fresh pumpkin. There is something so amazing about the smell of fresh pumpkin. I just love pumpkins. I don't know why. I just do. Right, this time, different from last time, we are actually going to knead the lid because he is going to act as a lid, basically. And you will see why. You will see why. Right, so there we go. Have our pumpkin and we have the lid next thing is to put the thing inside it that needs to go inside it does that make sense yeah i think so some butter some butter i'm using this stuff i don't think this is butter i think this is margarine margarine butter same thing really isn't it let's be honest and it goes just a great big blob of that lovely delish Push that around in there. Great, cool. Why have I put it back in there? It's full. Some golden caster sugar, or you could use brown sugar, or you could use demerara sugar, just some kind of dark sugar. So, golden caster sugar. Just gonna pour a little bit in. I think it's probably about, about a tablespoon. Not too much. Whoa. Don't want to blow your socks off, you know. A little bit of cinnamon as well, that can go in too. So we'll just sprinkle a little bit of that in. Because that will be lovely. Shake it about a bit so it goes in a bit more. Right. And that is what goes inside this pumpkin. Then his hat, his hat goes back on. I was going to say his head, I guess it is his head. Your hat is now your head. I'm going to put it on slightly wonkily because I do want a little bit of like air vent so the air can get out, whether it is steam. That's one steam, I think. Yeah, Ooh. okay, keep your head on, mate. Don't lose your head. Okay, and this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ourselves a little baking tray about that big, just so the pumpkin can sit in it. And we're gonna pour in some water, not too much, just maybe like half an inch or so. And then our pumpkin's gonna sit in the middle of that and this whole thing now is going to go into the oven just as is just as that for about 25 minutes to half an hour it depends when your pumpkin's cooked i like to open it up and just check it and just to see if he's cooked or not um but he should just be nice and soft in the middle basically and then you know he's cooked yeah oh that's too high now so i had it on grill didn't i oh i had it on grill you oh no you can't go down one's not going quite as smoothly as the last one. Didn't think it would. I didn't think I'd get lucky twice. Right, in that goes. It's cooking. Come on, mate, I can. Been in there for ages, haven't ya? Nice bath. You have a nice bath. Oh, you smell amazing. Who'd have thought that pumpkin would make such a nice sweet dessert? I know you've got like pumpkin pie, but it's not the same, is it? Right here is our lovely steaming pumpkin. You know what? I've seen people do this with apples and they kind of like core the apple out and do that, but I, don't, I just don't know like the practicalities of how that would work. Um, okay, so let's transfer him to a bowl. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> it's not so good. <laughs> not sure what those noises were, but wow. I mean, if you make this and smell it, you'll probably be making those noises too. Um, let's stick the light on. I didn't do this last time because it felt naughty, but you know what? We're going to be naughty this time. We're going to do it this time. Whipped cream. <laughs> it does not look appetizing. <laughs> wow, look at that. Look at that, bad boy. How about that? Right, here is my lovely sweet pumpkin recipe. The idea is to scoop the pumpkin from around the edge. There we go. And then we mix it in with all of our sweet ingredients. This looks so sweet. I mean, the only thing I have to say is that I did eat another pumpkin, like I ate the other pumpkin for lunch. So I probably wouldn't serve up like a double pumpkin. <laughs> I don't know how much too much pumpkin is, but I just feel like pumpkin for dinner and pumpkin for dessert 
probably just a little bit too much pumpkin but having said that it is delicious it would make an incredible dessert for like a, an autumn dinner party or a halloween party or just just for you just to sit like i am and just eat it it is delicious i don't know why it works but it just does it just does So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. It's something a little bit different from me. Um, I don't normally make cooking videos, but this is, like I said, it's one of my most requested videos of all time because I show you how to grow these amazing, amazing little mini, mini pumpkins and then I've kind of never shown you how to cook them or what to do with them. Uh, you can eat them, they are delicious, and hopefully this has given you some really good ideas on what to do with them. Let me know if you make either of the recipes, I would love to know. Don't forget to check out Readly as well, the magazine subscription app. You can get two months free with my link, which will be below in the description and in the comments, and you can cancel at any time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again for another allotment video. See you next time, thanks for watching, bye.